Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we're going to show you how to connect your L15 with FedCloud Pro and Android. So let's begin here immediately with the app. You can see we have today's activities and other stuff. We have three pages down below, home, device and mine. We will have to work with the device for the first page. You can see add device, press search, and immediately it found the L15, which is a very good sign. So we don't have to wait or do more stuff to connect. Now, this is it. In just a couple of steps, you can connect your L15. You can see we have the percentage of battery here and we have the time synchronized with the phone. So now that our watch is connected, we can see here all the things that we use. You can see steps, today's activities, today for uh, today uh, statistic for steps, way, week or monthly. We have steps, kilometer, burn calories and undone gold. After that, we have sleep statistic. You can see day, week or month, average sleep, deep sleep, live sleep and awake time and these are very good data that you can see for yourself. Heart rate also we have highest average and lowest also we can start our heart rate measuring from our phone. Same with blood pressure highest average and lowest and also we have the same things in oxygen, blood oxygen and the ACG as well. ACG we have a little statistic different and we have the historical record down below. So you can see right now we have all the measurements going in the same time which is one of the options that we have in the first page. At the second page that we connected we will find message notifications. You can see right now we have to allow notifications here in the settings for the app FitCloud Pro. You can see how I just allowed it and now the notification works. After that we have alarm clock, set alert which you can customize the timing same as drink reminder, we have day, uh, dial center, this is the page to change your face in your watch. For now we have only two of them that we downloaded, when you have internet connection you can download them more. After that we have rest sense, you can see again all these options are customizable. Continuous monitoring, fine band, we have band location, hour style, you can see 24 hours or 12 hours and basically this is what we have in the second page. After that we have the shake photograph which we can take a photo just by only shaking the watch and you can see 3 seconds it takes to take a photo and it will save it in your gallery which is maybe very important to someone. Next we have device version, restore factory settings and unbind at the bottom if, if you want to unbind this device. At the third page which is mine we have our profile, Google Fit, exercise goal which we can change and we have a couple of other things that you can customize like units. We have the feedbacks and other things in this page. So guys, this was all for today's video. I hope you find this video interesting and helpful. If so, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video with another smartwatch.